Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how I made two little journals to use the stocking stuffers this Christmas. Now I started off with this small book. Uh, I've got a couple of these. I'm going to use those two to make these little journals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the insides. This book used to belong to someone called Reese Price, I think it said. So with a knife, I just gently run down one side. Usually I can pull it apart at this stage, especially with older brittle books. Obviously this is quite old, 1946. I didn't pay £10 for it, I'd like to say. I, I bought a whole wadge of books from an eBay seller and they were great. They're scientific engineering and theology and uh, they had some great uh, well mostly the engineering and the scientific ones had some great diagrams in which um, I've taken out and used in collage work I uh, was so pleased with those in fact if you go to my patreon and become a member a couple of months ago I used them as masterboards so do do that if you'd like to see some Right, so what I've done, I've stripped that out now, I've taken the insides out and I can use those for glue books, which I quite often do. Now, using some Fabri-Tac glue, I'm going to stick down some wallpaper. I've applied it thickly and now I'm going to spread it out with a piece of card all over. I have learnt that you need a strong glue for wallpaper. And I'm struggling a bit with the um, curling of the wallpaper. <sighs> Once it's down, that's all right, I'm okay. So I'm just going to trim off the corners. I leave a little bit to fold in so I don't get um, holes in the points. Although, even if I did, it didn't matter because later on I put some of those gold corner protectors on anyway. You'll see that later. So I trim those bits off and I can fold up. But I also like to trim uh, the middle which I'm going to do just now. I'm afraid that might be a bit off screen, but you'll see the effects in a minute. So I'll just cut along there. I do this on top and bottom, and then I cut leaving about a half an inch or a centimetre that I can fold up. It just seems to work better that way, I've found. And it does get covered up and held down again with some fabric, which you'll see me do in a moment. So again, I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac glue. I'm spreading it out with some card can't find my old credit cards which I use. They tend to get a bit too gunked up and end up throwing them away. So Reese Price's name is now going to be hidden. Sorry Reese. Yes, some of them were medical, quite quite interesting medical books as well. Oh, they've been fascinating to look through. Yes, with these eBay sellers, you don't quite know what you're going to get when you buy these job lots of books. But it came from a bookshop, a second-hand bookshop in Wales. And that's that up there. Now, I'll tidy up the inside shortly. But so far, I'm quite pleased with that. Just got to do this side. And although I'm working on two books at the same time, you'll only see me working in one at a time. Oops, I've got a bit too much out there. I could pop it back in. There we go. There we go. I was getting glue all over the place. Now that's fabric stuck down on the centre spine. I like to use fabric because it holds the sewing, makes the sewing stronger. Then I've got these pieces of paper cut from, hmm, probably a Stamperia pad, <laughs> knowing me. And I'm going to glue those down. And this time I'm just using PVA glue. Mostly around the edges. 
pressing that down firmly. And what I do with this is I actually weigh it down and leave it overnight. So you'll see me coming back later uh, with a different background, I think. Probably different clothing and everything. <laughs> so now I'm going to do the other side. The wallpaper that I used, I was given to by a friend and it's really lovely. I, I really enjoy using it. I have a whole roll, but I'm using it quite quickly. Now I'll press that down firmly. As I say, I'll leave that overnight. In the meantime, I'm going to make another one. But this is the next day. So here are two all ready to go. One, I've attached some ribbon and a different inside. Oh, I love them. They're both very small ones. And these are the, the sort of thing I'm going to use inside. I've got a whole mixture. Some pages from, obviously, Stamperia, other papers, uh, some colouring in pages, but, uh, pages from magazines like Stampington, uh, some plain cartridge paper. And I'm going to sew them in now. So I use bulldog clips to hold them steady. I always put a centre one and then about an inch or so from the top, another hole. I'm just doing a three, a three, pam three stitch pamphlet, pamphlet style. I'm just going to mark out where it's going to go in the centre of the spine. See, these are very quick and simple ones. Not too much complication with this sort of style. I have a lot of things to get ready for Christmas, so I'm a little short of time. Three times the length of the book in waxed thread and a teeny weeny bit extra just to be on the safe side. Any needle that will fit through the holes and has a wide enough eye. I can't find my proper book binding needle, I don't know where it is. And so I go in the middle, up to the top, through the top hole. Bit of a struggle at this stage because everything flops about. Then all the way down to the bottom hole. Pull it tight. And back through the middle. Going round the other side of the thread. So you've got a string either side of the centre of the thread. Pull it tight and tie a, a knot, two knots. We'll hold it firmly. And then trim off the excess. Sometimes I leave the excess long and do some danglies, but I'm not going to with this one. I've got sticky on my scissors. So that's one done. And now I'm going to... I'm going to do the corner pieces. I've got these little um, corner protectors. They're a little bit, they're, no, they don't quite go on, so I'm having to widen them a bit. Um, put them on, there we go. Straighten them up and then crimp them, very gently. Because they do have a design on, I don't want to squash the design out of them. So I do that on all four corners, front and back. Sometimes I just do the front, but I thought with these I'd do, I'll do front and back. Here we go, that's the fourth one on. those away and I'm going to do something that dangles on the spine on just one of them I know one person will like that and the other person probably won't so I'm just doing it on one sorry that's off screen but basically I've used those ribbon end clasps they're great for this sort of thing so I'm just attaching that to the top and then I'm going to use the bulb safety pins I can't make up my mind whether to use that bronze color or the silver because the dangly is actually silver I'm just going to pop that on the, attach that there, like so. Bit of a struggle with that, getting it in, there we go. And that dangles on the back. And now I've found some ribbon. I'm just going to simply tie the ribbon around this one. And it's recycled sari silk, it always is practically with me. I like it. I like the recycled aspect. And the fact that Sari Silk comes in so many wonderful colours. 
So now for the second one. And I'm going to show you them both. Here they are. Here they are together. So the second one, I've, co I've put on the front of them little plates from um, Stamperia pads to finish them off. The second one, I've got uh, not Sari Silk, just ordinary blue ribbon, just wound round one, uh, several times. And there they are, and they can go in the post to my uh, dear friends. And I hope they like them. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do leave a comment down below just to let me know you're around. Um, and do press the like button as well. I'd appreciate that. Um, if you'd like to have a look, I've got very many other videos up on the channel now. Uh, all sorts of interesting things. At the moment, I'm doing a lot of advent calendar videos. Have a look at those. They're fun. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Bye.